Hey everybody, I just got back from Virginia and I spent uh, seven hours in the car driving back and I always love that time because it allows me just to kind of brainstorm on some things and think real creatively or at least as creatively as, as I can think. And I wanted to share with you, you guys um, an idea I had and I uh, just want to kind of set it out there and have us chew on it for a little while and, and um, maybe just kind of share a little bit about how we think about it. Um, the last couple of weeks I've been, been just trying to um, think more deeply about the idea of, of, of the Sunday morning experience and how we can hopefully um, allow more people to experience that, frankly, and, and basically just how do we get more people to come Sunday morning to, to see what the crossing is about because we're using that as our front door. And uh, I've been pleased with, with how we've been able to do that, but just trying to think creatively as to how we can continue to, to do even a better job of that. And um, as I was thinking, driving up, I was thinking about some of the resources that we have in the church or some of the things that seem to stand out to me. First of all, we're at the school. Um, we've got access to the school. Sundays are not a very highly used time in the school. Um, and I was thinking about, okay, we've got a gym there that's ready for us to be used if we ever wanted to do some type of community outreach or some type of blessing to the community. The other thing as I was thinking about was the effectiveness that a lot of churches have in uh, sports ministry. Um, and I don't think we're to the size yet that we want to take on a full-blown sports ministry program. Uh, I just don't think that's where we're at, nor is there a, a need necessarily in our community for another sports program. Um, but what I did think about um, was this idea that there are plenty of people like Brad Scher and Becca and uh, Dan Dallas and Mike Beers and even Gene Dallas that have coaching experience. And um, one of the things I thought about was the potential for us to do um, some mini camps, some mini um, training camps, like uh, pre, pre-sport um, uh, mini camps. So, for instance, do a, uh, a baseball spring training, youth spring training, um, for a, a set amount of time. I was thinking no more than four weeks, you know, three to four weeks where we'd set an hour from like 12 to 1 o'clock uh, where Dan and some other people would just do kind of a spring training camp um, for the kids in preparation for the uh, baseball season to start. And then I was thinking, man, you know, we could do that throughout the year. We could do that with soccer. We could do that with uh, basketball. We could do that with, with football. And um, obviously all of it would be indoors. And so it would be just some basic fundamentals. And uh, I just thought it would be um, a way that we could harness what it seems like the, the people that, have, that God has brought to us with an interest in athletics also harness with the fact that it seems like a lot of people in our community would like their kids to, to get kind of the, the rust off of their skills before the season starts. And um, I just think it would be a great opportunity um, for Sunday morning when we're done with service to you know, take some of our folks go down to the gym and, uh, and do, do this thing. And again, it wouldn't be an extended period. It would be just once a week for about an hour or so is what I'm thinking um, for no more than four weeks. You know, I'm thinking three, two would probably be too short. Three might be about right. Four to five gets a little bit long. So uh, anyway, just a thought. Um, so I just wanted to kind of throw that out there and have people be thinking about that. Um, just trying to think if there's any other th uh, thoughts I had. Um, surrounding it. I just I just think it's a way that we can combine um, exposing people to who we are on Sunday mornings hopefully just through parents being around and building relationships as well as it's just a it's a way that we can bless our community um, you know and I don't think it'd be a huge commitment on our part as far as uh, resources. I figure we could probably have a registration fee you know do shirts and uh, do a little advertising and it probably would um, would run pretty smoothly so um, anyways, get, if, if you would get back to me, um, if, uh, if I don't hear much from, from anybody, I'm going to probably pursue it with uh, Dan Dallas, and if he's interested, maybe just kind of turn it over to him. Um, and I don't know if we'd do something in conjunction with um, Boys and Girls Club. At this point, I think it would probably be just something that we do on our own and, uh, and see where it went. So, in any event, um, welcome home, uh, Frank. So I think you're getting back from uh, Florida probably tomorrow. This is Friday. But um, and Becca should be back a week from tomorrow. So anyways, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.